Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXC Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. When I tell you we have to take our hats off to Stephen Francis, take our hats off to the guru Stephen Francis. He does it yet again and he did not disappoint. And I'm absolutely thrilled with the results that I saw last evening from one particular athlete Tia Clayton. Well, she's not the only athlete, but I'm saying for this particular video, we're talking about Tia. So I'm saying for Tia, I was absolutely pleasantly surprised with the results um, that I saw last evening. And then I got to thinking, hmm, <laughs> it is quite, quite interesting what is unfolding in front of our eyes. Now, I do remember just a week before the trials began, Stephen Francis did do an interview where he was asked specifically about the readiness of Sherika Jackson. Now, he did indicate that Sherika Jackson is potentially in her 2022 slash 2023 shape. So she should have no issues um, qualifying for the women's 100 meter team unless there is a surprise. No, given what everybody knows about, you know, the Jamaican women and sprinting and the landscape of sprinting in Jamaica, it would be pretty surprising for, you know, an athlete, an unknown, let's put it that way, to pretty much surprise at the trials. One, there was no Brianna Liston competing here. And then, you know, as the weeks or the days at least progressed, we found out that, you know, there's no Elaine Thompson here. But at the time, of course, we know we were still considering Elaine when Stephen Francis did that video. So I said, okay, I'm sure, okay, fine. Yes, there can be surprises. But Given everything we know about sprinting in Jamaica, it's highly unlikely that there will be a sprinter that will surprise unless, 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 unless Stephen Francis has something else around their hiding and he's ready to unleash it onto Jamaica. Now, Shaq is at the time, of course, sifting through the possibilities and what we did see coming to the fore from the MVP Chuck and Fear Club. We're like, okay. Let's go with Crystal Slowly. Crystal Slowly is definitely coming out to surprise because based on what Stephen Francis is saying, somebody's coming to surprise. There is a female that will be stepping out that will be doing a phenomenal performance. One that could surprise even a Sharika Jackson. But track is, oh boy, were we wrong with the target? Our target was wrong in this instance. And this is to take nothing away from Crystal Slowly because Crystal Slowly is certainly next up um, as it relates to an athlete that will be breaking out. Give her her time, right? But in this particular moment, track is Tia Clayton. Have to get the Clayton right. Tia Clayton definitely came out and surprised us. And it literally started from in the semifinal where she came out and handily defeated. Guess who? Guess who? You remember the athlete that he said potentially could surprise a Sharika Jackson? Well, she did so. She definitely did so handily in the semifinal, defeating a Sherika Jackson, running 10.86 seconds to Sherika Jackson's 10.87 seconds track is, right? That is exactly what happened in the semi. And then onto the finals where Sherika Jackson did walk away with the win and Tia Clayton rounding into second, defeating a Shelly and Fraser Price. And in that race, she ran at 10.90 seconds. Now, coming out of the race last evening, of course, track is, you know, 100% excited about what is to come for Tia Clayton. And I made, you know, a small comparison as it relates to what I saw with Tia and what I saw potentially with Ashley and Fraser Price um, in 2008. And I said, hmm, 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 hmm. Is Stephen Francis creating the next Shelly and Fraser Prize? Now, Chuck is hear me out. I know you guys love to, you know, go off when I make these comparisons, but hear me out. We have seen him create. He literally, you saw for your own, you know, last evening, he's literally created a better version, you would say, of Asafa Powell. Now, this is clearly given all of the experience he's now garnered over the years, everything culminating together and creating what I would say is a Kishane Thompson. Now, in 2024, I'm looking at T and this performance and I'm thinking, hmm, is this the next Shelly? I'm like, okay. 
let's go back in 2008 and take a wonderful look at the performance from Shelly and Fraser Price. Shelly and Fraser Price to qualify for the team at the Jamaican Championships runs a 10.85 seconds in the final where she placed second. She ran at 10.85 seconds. Now, her times though throughout um, the actual meeting, she went from an 11.25 to an 11.02 to that 10.85. Follow the levels. Follow the levels. Now, let's jump over to Tia. Tia at this meeting runs an 11.02 and 11.8. Well, did I say 11? Sorry. 10.86. And a 10.90. Now, that 10.90 track is, I'm looking at the time, and of course, the performance of the athlete. Plus, realizing that Tia did look like she had a moment there when Sherika Jackson got up on her, where she probably did overstride a bit. Right, so, I'm saying track is, based on this performance and everything that Stephen Francis has said, you know, could we potentially see Tia Clayton dropping at 10.7. Literally, that looks like the kind of performance that Tia is literally ready to drop. Now, again, let's go back to Shelly and Fraser Price. So she places second at the national trials in 2008, and she goes on, and this is where she runs a 10.85. But what is important about the same um, 2008, she goes on to the Olympic Games, and she drops a 10.78 to win the Olympic gold medal. Now, these are different times, clearly. The times athletes are running are also completely different. So while a 10.78 here um, for Shelly and Fraser Price was able to go away for gold, and a, and a pretty you know easy gold as well, you know given how much she steamed roll the field right it's kind of different the landscape of sprinting you know globally you no know, there's so many other athletes to consider so even when you say hey it looks like it definitely looks like given the time that is left and i have been talking about this as well because Stephen keeps saying whatever these athletes do at trials they will be much better by the time parish rolls around because then they're going to be getting that targeted training leading into the paris olympic games and we're expecting them to be so much more faster and i actually think call me crazy but i actually think given what Stephen francis said about the surprise he very well expected tia to run 10-7 last evening i definitely think he expected her to run at 10-7 last evening. It didn't happen, Trackies. But hear what? I, for sure, know I'm thinking that when Tia turns up at the Olympic Games, she will be definitely ready to clock at 10.7. Whatever time, 10.75, 10.78, anything in the 10.7 realm, Trackies, to have a phenomenal performance, of course, at the Paris Olympic Games. Now... Pretty much mirroring, as I said, the performances from a Shelly and Fraser Price. Doesn't necessarily mirror the achievement because, as we know, Shelly and Fraser Price went away with a gold medal in 2008. That 10.7, whatever Tia may, you know, get down to at the Paris Olympic Games may not get her, you know, that particular result, but it will definitely get her a phenomenal result as, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, it's definitely getting her a phenomenal result. And as I said, Steven strikes yet again. He has successfully, he has successfully given everything he's learned over the years, managed to one-up what he did with Asafa Powell, with Akishi and Thompson. And it seems as though he has started on the road of one-upping whatever he did with a Shelly and Fraser Price with Atia Clayton. Now, don't get me wrong. In terms of medals, again, this nature of track and field in 2024 is completely different or the landscape of sprinting in 2024 is completely different from what we saw in 2008 you know in that period when Shelly and Fraser Price just broke out so again even though we may see similar times or performances not necessarily leading to the same accolades right but I'm here for it if it can lead to the same accolades why not why not track is let us see what will happen with Atia Clayton as she progresses you know along this line track is and i'm excited for her i'm definitely excited to see um her breakout this season and i can't wait to see how far she'll be able to
able to go. I'll just be watching her year in, year out and just enjoying her performances. But this is the beginning. This is literally the beginning for her. This is the beginning of her story, pretty much as a senior athlete representing Jamaica globally on the world stage. And track is... I'm here to record that history. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Tia. What do you think um, will happen, you know, post um, the trials? What do you think about these comparisons as well? Don't get crazy in the comment section. <laughs> Nobody is saying anybody is Shelly. Okay, okay, get that through your skulls. Now, with that said, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.